and like grow beers together? Sort of all that crap, and that's a thing now? So, who here has a best friend? You got a best friend? That's awesome. So much better than those stupid fucking phonies. I'm <laughs> having a great time. <laughs> it's fucking Stripe Cert Saturdays. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, the last three days, uh, does anyone here know who Bob Dylan is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bob Dylan? Alright, the last three days, uh, there have been Bob Dylan quotes in my horoscope. What does that mean? <laughs> so, past the Genova, has anyone ever uh, been there downtown? They make this dough. I think they really may be understanding in the way of things. Okay. So this past week, uh, hey Tony. This this past week, I saw this movie, The Three Amigos. It's the first time I ever saw it. It's really funny. It's a lot of great people in it. But the one thing I didn't get was where did they get the money? It's the, one, it's the one thing I didn't get. Where did they get the money? I mean, they, they closed up most of the, the plot holes, but that was pretty gaping as far as I thought. So did you know the word metaphor? I, I, got, a, I got a word of the day. The word metaphor is actually a metaphor for metaphor. It blew my mind. So, I have a roommate, and uh, and she was out of the house. So I was clipping my toenails naked, sitting on the edge of the bathtub with the door open. I did business as usual. And uh, her girlfriend was home and walked by and got all you know freaked out on me. But I mean, I fucking live there too. So, what's her problem? This ground beef. This one just says ground beef. Uh, I don't... I think I was thinking of mango chicken, but... So mangoes, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Can we... Uh, you're, you're, you're playing some, some reggae music earlier. Can we get some Nicki Minaj in here? I really I really like to look at, listen to uh, Nicki Minaj whenever I walk around downtown. It's great walking music. So then maybe it's not so appropriate for any of Does anyone know where you could get one of those fancy machines from Star Trek? Yeah. Talk to me after the show. Thank you, you, you. I will sleep better tonight. Yeah. Every day, uh, I, I work just down the uh, just down the street from Starbucks, and I always go in and get a coffee. And uh, yesterday morning on my way into work, I met this girl online, and we talked for about 20 minutes. We really hit it off. It never happens to me in, yeah, in Starbucks or anywhere else. But uh, I, I gave her my phone number, and I woke up this morning and I realized I don't have a caller ID. So I guess that's going nowhere. It's okay. <laughs> it's another thing that's really been bothering me, and six months later, I just can't believe Katie Holmes broke up with Tom Cruise on Pride Week. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> The, uh, I broke up with my girlfriend like six months ago, or she says says one month. I don't I don't really know. The uh, I guess I've been going through relationship detox, so I'm not crazy. I didn't even know. Keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Again. Thank you. My, room, my roommate called me uh, yesterday morning before I went and got my awesome Starbucks. But uh, she'd forgotten her office keys. Uh, she said there were two gold keys and that they were probably on the bookshelf in the living room. I went and looked. I mean, there was two brass keys not on a ring. So I hope she finds her keys. Also, isn't it weird that she has an office? I mean... Oh. You know, it's all fun and games until the spirit of the soul can't follow the heart. <laughs> to mandate use of mental agility.
why is it so difficult to change the channel these days? All I want to do is check the weather. I mean, have you seen the weather girl today? She's she's pretty fucking hot. Here's here's one of those jobs that I would hate to do, or I don't even maybe know how do they do it even? Unshelling pumpkin seeds. How do they do that? <laughs> so my ex girlfriend changed her phone number because she said I was texting her and calling her too much. <laughs> and uh, I went on, I went on a date uh, on Monday night. And uh, yeah, thank you. Um, and we went back to her house. First of all, who the fuck owns a house? That's pretty awesome. And uh, she had a dog. She she even had a chair that matched her fucking couch. I felt like a princess. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for everyone for coming out. Is anyone excited for for Johnson? Yeah. All right. We got Greg Trident up next. And then uh, Captain Footbags and Grandma Pa. It's gonna be great. So uh, have yourselves a good night, and remember, Lady Gaga said it best. <laughs>